How's it going everyone? Adam here from Coding Basics and welcome to tutorial number 8 in my QBasic tutorial series. And in this video we're going to be going over how to get user input. So let's not waste any time, let's launch QB64 and let's save the file and we're going to call it input.bas. Now to get user input is really simple. The, we get to start the line by typing out input, all in capital letters, and then we're going to print out a string that prompts our user what kind of input we're looking for. So, in this case, we're going to ask the user, what is your name? And we then, after the string, we put a comma and then we put a name for the variable that we want to be like where we want this variable to be saved so whatever we get from the user it's gonna be saved in this variable is what I'm trying to say so I'm gonna call this one name and I'm gonna put a dollar sign behind it to signify that we're looking for a string to be put in there next thing we're gonna do is input where we ask what is your age and a comma and then we're just gonna say age where uh, age is gonna be a number so that's why we have a dollar sign here for a string no dollar sign because age is a number now all we're gonna do is we're gonna print out print out hello name with semicolons to uh, concatenate those strings I can't believe you are another semicolon and now we're gonna put the age so let's run this program so what is your name? My name is Adam. What is your age? I am 19. Hello Adam, I can't believe that you are 19. Now the only thing we could do to make this better of course, well we don't need a capital E here, we need a lowercase one. And we can put a space. So the strings aren't on top of each other. And then maybe put a couple spaces here. Oops so that um, one, two, three, four. We'll put four spaces here so that there's a little bit of space between the question and our answer. One, two, three, four. And let's start this. What's your name? Adam. How old are you? 19. Hello Adam, I can't believe you are 19. All right. That is all there is to it. Now one thing I wanna show you, what is your name? If I put in 12, that's no problem. What is your age? It won't let me type in characters. I'm trying to type in F right now, and G. It won't let me type in characters whatsoever. If I type in number, that will work fine. So, as you can see, we can put a number in the place of a string because a string is just a sequence of characters. Well, numbers can be characters, but characters cannot be a number, so I can't have a G is my number. So in our program here we are looking for a string. You can enter whatever you want, just as long as it's a character, a valid character. For age, we can only enter a number. So just make sure what kind of input you know you want. If someone could put in a you know a string for the number, like you know T H R E E instead of just the number three, keep that in mind maybe. Um, so yeah, that's all there is to user input very useful you can use it for math so now that we know the person's age maybe you're making a program to calculate their insurance so you need the person's age because younger people have higher insurance rates that sort of stuff um, so now that we have the user input from the person we can use it in a variety of ways but for now that's all I got for you guys this time remember to leave a comment on this video like this video and subscribe and I will see you in the next one